The Sun has never once conducted a witch hunt against actual witches. OK, it has picked on one or two other groups, like uh, social workers, women in burkas, left-wingers, suburban swingers, binge drinkers, forward thinkers, gypsies, shirkers, public sector workers, underage mums, overage mums, sponges who sit around twiddling their thumbs, anyone who's had a fight, anyone with cellulite, looters, saggy hooters, feminists, leninists, Satanists who take the piss, uh, so-called expert boffins, the escorts who let Frank boffin, anyone called Cheat, Angus Deaton, the England squad, the goalies' hands, the manager, the Hillsborough fans, speed cameras, reckless drivers, snotty jobs worth, speckless skivers, trendy vicars wearing knickers, lessers, benders, the cast of EastEnders, Leslie Grantham, foreigners who can't sing our national anthem, the French, the Portuguese, the Crowns, the MEPs, Argentina, Polish cleaners, anyone who lives in Spain or starts a human rights campaign, geeks, freaks, crackers, hackers, killjoys, pillocks, Tory boys, kinnocks, moaners, miners, former men with new vaginas, <laughs> the local hoodie, jade goodie, jailbirds, nerds, troubled songbirds, long words and cheating turds on disability benefits who don't seem quite disabled enough for their liking, Chris Jeffries, Russell Harty, members of the Green Party, anyone who says recycle, wayward superstar George Michael, Channel 4, ITV, Channel 5, the BBC, overeaters, asylum seekers, especially if they snuck into Britain using any kind of vessel. Uh, Katie Wessel, Katie Wessel's Fozzy Gran Iran, uh, Emperor Hirohito of Japan, zealous coppers, wife swappers, bureaucrats, bureaucrats, non-existent feral cats, an innocent man called Robert Marat, the cast of The Only Way is Essex, the Leveson Inquiry into Media Ethics, and the occasional supermodel bitches. But never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, 